Our programs offer many languages. Please visit suprememastertv.com forward slash schedule. Nos programs offer plusieurs langues. Veuillez visiter suprememastertv.com barre oblique schedule. Nuestros programas ofrecen varios idiomas. Visiten suprememastertv.com barra inclinada schedule. Mi sharain shok nyelvet tartalmazna. Kérjük tekintse meg itt suprememastertv.com per schedule. Miss Lisa Carlson, a well-known raw vegan chef, expresses her artistic approach with dishes she creates. She elevates food presentation to a new level with her raw vegan recipes. Watch on to find out more. Kumaku Busta. This translates to how are you? in Guinea-Bissau Creole, the national language of Guinea-Bissau. I'm Tassiana. The joyful people from Guinea-Bissau wish you happiness and peace. Welcome to the final episode of our two-part show, Raw Vegan Chef Lisa Carlson's Artistic Dishes. Ms. Lisa Carlson is a famous raw vegan chef, an eco-entrepreneur as well as a prolific artist, and an award-winning vocalist. Since 1991, she has been experimenting and creating her own organic raw vegan meals. Ms. Carson regards the process of assembling a dish like creating a piece of art, whereby she endeavors to bring together beauty, perfection, and deliciousness. Her exquisite culinary creations are embraced by a growing number of a list of Hollywood stars, including Alicia Silverstone, vegan, Woody Harrelson, vegan, Daryl Hannah, vegan, Crispin Glover, vegan, and many more. Through music, food, and lifestyle, Ms. Carlson has helped pioneer the eco movement, building several sustainable green businesses that focus on raw organic foods. She created three packaged grab and go raw foods lines that can be found in specialty grocery stores such as Air One Market, Co Opportunity, and Whole Foods. Ms. Carson will share her artistic skills with us in creating the vibrant, delicious, and nutritious raw vegan Thai curry dish using spiralized root vegetables as noodles. Hi, my name is Lisa Carlson. I am an artist, eco-activist, and quantum food physicist, a raw foodist uh, chef. And I work with energy with food. Today I'm going to prepare for you a beautiful dish that is a Thai curry noodle dish with root vegetable noodles and lots of then fantastic vegetables around it. So I'm going to start with sauce. We're going to start with some uh, fresh ginger. I take off some of the skin but not all of the skin. So that way you are getting some of the nutrients. A lot of times, taste-wise, palate-wise, I don't like to use all of the skin because it does alter the flavor slightly, but nutrition-wise, I always leave on some of the skin. So we're gonna start with that, and that's about uh, an inch of ginger. I love ginger. Um, this is another root, which is fantastic, which um, people are becoming more familiar with, all kinds of healing properties, which is fresh turmeric. Um, again, I will take off some of the skin, that beautiful bright orange yellow with all of its healing and medicinal properties of anti-inflammatory, half a teaspoon to teaspoonful of salt. The sauce will end up being uh, about this um, high, a good four cups worth. And so I am using the salt to deepen that flavor and give it a nice base uh, tones and notes. The salt that I just used is a Celtic sea salt. It is sun-dried and harvested and it's left like that with no alteration. Um, I am now taking the uh, lemon. 
lemon peel can tend to be very bitter and it can really alter the flavor of things. When I'm creating something that's pleasurable that I want to share with people, sometimes I'll put a little of the lemon peel, but the, the seeds um, I'm leaving in, it's really important. Um, and I am going to go ahead and cut off just a teeny bit of that peel and place that into the blender as well. I like to get my dates from the farmer's market. I take out the seeds. So I'm going to put all of these in. Now I am going to take a really good curry powder. This one is a little spicy. Um, as I had stated before, make sure that where you're gathering your spices from, that again, they are doing them from uh, low temperature drying before they powder them. And that way you're getting all the bio nutrients. You want them organic. You want them with no fillers and, and without any preservatives. About a tablespoon and a half. And now I'm going to put just a little bit of cumin. Not much. Cumin is very strong. I like it as an undertone, but not an overtone. Two cups of soaked cashews. Next in the blender, I am going to use some apple cider vinegar. That was about three tablespoons of apple cider vinegar. Um, now the next thing is cold pressed olive oil, which is about one fourth cup of olive oil. The last thing for that particularly is coconut oil. We have four and a half cups of water. I'm making a large amount of sauce. This is the base of this whole um, dish is the sauce and everything else goes on top of it. With these blenders that are high powered, you want to start it low so you don't explode the top because that happens and then it has happened. So you want to start it low and then let it blend for a while so it really gets that smooth texture and you've got lots of thick things like the lemon and the peel and things that really need to be uh, pulverized. <laughs> Okay, it's got a nice buoyancy. It's not really thick, but it's just like a nice, good cream sauce. So I am going to taste test this. Yeah, I could tell already. I'm taking another good teaspoon of salt. We'll continue to go down that road until we have it just the way we like it today, which may be different tomorrow. That's another probably teaspoon of curry and another tablespoon of the apple cider vinegar. It's beautiful when you have just that undercurrent of the vinegar, especially with the sweet. It's really lovely. Okay, so I'm gonna turn the blender all the way down again. So, here we go. Okay, let's test it again. Okay, a little bit more salt. Make sure that you're, you're happy with what the result is. I'm going to get one more thing. I think I want to put in seven dates. When you are doing a sauce, all the vegetables and the beautiful things that you're going to put into the sauce will bring the flavor down. So, put plenty of flavor in your sauce. And we'll blend again. Okay, so one last tasting. It's really important to play. Play with your food, taste your food, feel your food. Mm. Okay, there we go. Wonderful viewers, we will pause for a moment to pray for a vegan, healthy, and peaceful world. 
please stay tuned to Supreme Master Television. We will be back soon. Welcome back to our show, Raw Vegan Chef Lisa Carlson's Artistic Dishes, Part 2 of 2, Thai Curry with Root Vegetable Noodles. Okay, so let's continue to play and have fun. So I like to have a nice pool of that sauce, so it's almost like a, a soup, nice thick, and then I will build the vegetables on top of it. So first I'm going to fill the bottom of the bowl with a nice amount. Sauce is where all the flavor is. As you can see in this bowl, there's probably a good inch and a half of sauce. Now you can choose the vegetables that are available to you wherever you are. I like the spiralized vegetables, these are carrot. I like them left very long and, and kind of artistically dangly and then people get to have fun getting them into their mouth. <laughs> This is a spiralized rutabaga. These are all root vegetables. And again, it's really beautiful to play with your food, have fun with the colors. Food is art to me. It's the medium I understand is art, whether it's dance or it's an artistic adventure of wonder and fantasticness. So play, have joy, have fun. This is some thicker spiralized. They're not spiralized quite as much, but this is zucchini. At this point, I'm going to sprinkle a little salt on the vegetables. I'm gonna take this baby bok choy. I'll cut things in, in different ways. I, I tend to like to have different dimensions to my food. Sometimes I'll get very creative with the art of it but then you have to remember that people need to eat it. And so it should be consumption friendly as well. And so as you can see, I'm just building on one side of the plate. My intention is to get it quite high and beautiful. At this point, I will do the beet. You can get several different brands of spiralizers. You can do quick and easy and fun things with them. Once you make it into noodles, it becomes incredibly pleasurable. I have removed the skin from this beet. Whatever you're doing with beet, once you put beet in there, it can, you know, definitely turn that color. But look at that. Isn't that gorgeous? Oh, I love it. Again, utilizing color textures, you're getting all different kinds of vegetables. So as you can see, I, I am building up. And so now I'll start to put basil. I put a couple of whole leaves in and I like to roll and do some chaffinade. I'm gonna cut a little bit of mint. Mint turns um, dark very quickly once it's been cut, but it's a way to kind of disperse the flavor. And then I'll put a few l bigger leaves throughout dispersing flavor bursts, basically. One of my favorite things is the cilantro. This is another one I love. It's long stem. It doesn't make it as easy to eat, but I love to just flour it up and around. And uh, it's an adventure eating it, but it's so beautiful <laughs> that it gives me pleasure brings me joy. Um, okay, so this is as big as I'm going to build this plate. I love heat. I love peppers. I like to slice them very thin so they are hints of flavor. And now I'm going to also take some red pepper and just make that a beautiful kind of offering that disperses. 
These cashews have not been soaked, so I don't like to use very many of them. I've just chopped them up roughly, putting those across the top. Next thing I'm gonna do is drizzle just a little olive oil across the top of all of the vegetables. And on the sauce. And then the last thing I'm going to do is take a little lemon. And again, you kind of just have these little flavor pockets that pop. So, bon appetit. It's such a pleasure to share this beauty and information and excitement and life, life-giving information and food and tools with people who are drawn to it. So I say thank you very much. I'm very grateful and feel blessed. Thank you. Ingredients. For all ingredients, please use organic versions if available. We encourage you to wear gloves when handling ready-to-eat raw foods. For the raw vegan Thai curry with root vegetable noodles, the ingredients are Thai curry sauce, carrots spiralized, rutabagas spiralized, zucchinis spiralized, beet spiralized, baby bok choy, basil leaves, mint, cilantro, chili peppers green, dried red chili peppers, cashews, olive oil, lemon, Celtic sea salt. For the Thai curry sauce, the ingredients are 1 inch of ginger root, 1 inch of fresh turmeric root, 2 teaspoons of Celtic sea salt, 1 lemon, 7 pieces of pitted dates, 2 and a half tablespoons of curry powder, a little bit of cumin, 2 cups of pre-soaked cashews, 4 tablespoons of apple cider vinegar, a quarter cup of organic virgin olive oil, some coconut oil, four and a half cups of water. For more information about Lisa Carlson, please visit personallyraw.com. Intelligent viewers, thank you for spending time with us today. We hope you have enjoyed Chef Lisa Carlson's demonstration and that you gained some ideas on how you can have fun creating your own healthy raw vegan meal as a work of art that you will love eating. We wish you success and good health. For free international vegan recipes and for language availability, please visit suprememastertv.com forward slash VEG and suprememastertv.com forward slash schedule.